Hey guys, my name is Tamar Meisels. I'm a Jewish wife and mother living in Israel. And today I wanted to share with you what I brought to the hospital, what you really need to bring to the hospital. I'm five weeks postpartum with my third baby. And that's why I kind of got a feel for what I wanted to bring to the hospital and what I really needed in the hospital. I didn't want to bring extra stuff or extra bags. And I was able to put pack this whole list into this bag this small bag uh, and that just is easier for me mentally I knew that I had that small bag everything I needed uh, of course feel free to add to this list things that are important to you and you know will be beneficial to you the first stage is during the actual birth uh, what you're gonna need is documentation and an ID card I know our hospital requires a special ID card that we don't normally walk around with so it's important to pack that in your bag along with documents about your pregnancy and uh, medical information. So check with your hospital what they require that you bring. Uh, the second thing you're gonna want is your phone. Uh, of course, you're gonna wanna use your phone to take pictures and to send WhatsApps and talk to people. So it's very important to bring your phone and fo your phone could also be used as uh, to play music. I know a lot of people enjoy playing music during the birth and that was my intention as well, but I forgot to play music. I guess I was kind of focused on other things instead, so I forgot to use my phone, but some people bring a boom box or another, another electronic that they use to play music, so your phone could be used for this as well. To use your phone, you're gonna to wanna to bring a charger, maybe even an extra charger. Uh, I know my phone shut off during the hospital, so you're gonna to wanna to charge your phone whenever you have a chance, especially if you're sleeping for the night, charge your phone. Uh, in the wall. Also for the birth in Israel, we, they ask us to bring a small bottle of almond oil and this is used for the last stage of pushing uh, to help ease the baby's way out and it helps prevent tearing. Uh, so it's very, uh, very useful. Also you're going to want to bring a water. I brought a water bottle for me and for my spouse and snacks, maybe dark chocolate, nuts, Lots of fruit that you could also use on later on for your hospital stay. I also brought granola, homemade granola that I made. So that was really nice to also feel at home a little bit. And during your hospital stay, what you're gonna want is uh, our hospital, I don't know what your hospital is like, but our hospitals are a little bit cold. So you're gonna wanna bring pajama pants, warm socks, an extra sweater or sweatshirt. Uh, it's important to bring one that I brought one that zips up and down so I could easily breastfeed. Uh, for taking a shower and toiletries, uh, you're going to want to bring some flip-flops so you can take a shower. You're not going to want to be barefoot in the shower. And to use in the shower, you're gonna bring, I brought a small brush, small bottle of shampoo, conditioner, and soap so I was able to take a shower and feel like a person after the birth. Uh, also, of course, you're going to want to bring your toothbrush and your toothpaste for the night and uh, some reading material. I know I really like reading, so I brought a women's magazine that I was really looking forward to reading. I brought it to the hospital and I read it. Regarding uh, toiletries, uh, when it comes to your bleeding and pads and everything, uh, some people I know they bring uh, lots of fancy underwear or special pads and special gauzes and stuff like that. I just use what the hospital gives me. I do bring two underwear that I know are going to get ruined, that I don't mind, that are already on their way out. I bring two underwear that I'm willing to, to have ruined, and I just use the pads that the hospital gives me. And last stage is the stage when you're ready to take your precious baby home. Uh, our hospital requires you bring either a stroller or a baby carrier to take your baby away. I don't know what your hospital rules are. So we brought a baby carrier. Uh, we brought the car, so we just took the car seat and put the baby in the car. And we brought one baby outfit um, that we knew would be comfortable for the baby, maybe a little bit big on the baby, but comfortable. We didn't want to bring all the clothes that we have. We brought just one outfit, one pants, one onesie, and an overall. And this was our list, and it helped simplify our life. And these are the things that you're really, really going to need. Hope this list helped you, and uh, see you next time.